What up, chosen ones? It's G Wells with them and them are you with y'all the chosen ones, baby. And I'm chosen to serve the chosen ones. Hey, look, chosen ones. You had some people around you, dog. That thought they was some real demons, man. They thought they was some real demons. They thought they was really about that shit. They really thought they was gonna run you down in hell. They thought they was gonna make your life a living hell. They really thought they was on some demon time shit. But they found out real quick that your meekness and your kindness, that shit is just one side to the story. That it's another side to you, dog. And that showed their lack of understanding because they thought it was just this one side to you. And they thought that they was really on some demon time shit. And they was really on some, you know what I'm saying? They was really on that. And they thought they was going to run you down. They thought they were going to run down on you. They thought they were going to really just, just, just have you down and out. They was just going to run you through hell and leave you there. They was just going to take advantage of you. They just, they, they just was going to have you hanging on to their very word. They was going to just string you along. But you came up out, you came up out of your pocket. You came up out the pocket on their ass. <laughs> you, you showed them your other side. You showed them that it's two sides to this coin. You had to call upon a higher power. To fight the evil that these people thought they was bringing upon you. In all actuality, the little shit they was doing was, 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 was preschool type shit. It was things that were rudimentary. They thought that they was really bringing real force of evil towards you. They thought they was going to really break you. They really thought they was going to bring you down. They thought they was going to have you at their beck and call. They thought that they were going to become your God. But look at it now. Look how the tables have turned. They exhausted all this energy trying to be something that they really not. Trying to impress others that they're trying to fit in with that don't really like them. And you was just okay with being by yourself. You okay. You comfortable with yourself. You ain't trying to press no broad, no nigga, no, no, nobody. You good. You, you self-sufficient. You good within. But these people was trying to prove a point to people they was trying to prove that they're cool enough to hang around with. Ask me how I know. It's so. <laughs> you looking at a living testimony They wanted To break you down So that they can look Like a class act In front of the people They was trying to impress But fucked around And made themselves Look like a jackass because you didn't break, you didn't bend. You stood on your principles. And you still standing on your principles. Ten toes. Ask me how I know. It's because it's so. <laughs> I'm a walking, living, breathing testimony. You experience every possible thing that could go wrong in your life. But a physical death. And you still standing? You still here? You still alive? You still talking your shit? You still believing in God? You still standing on the word? You still just still? You still who God called you to be? You still talking your talk, walking that walk? But these people, they switched up. They not, listen, listen, this is how you know them people ain't really about that. Because they now they, they somebody totally different now. They ain't on that demon time shit no more. They want to be kumbaya now. They want to be friends. They want to be in good graces with you. But if you would have fell by the wayside, if you would have became 
a victim to their tricks and their tactics, they'll still be on that same energy wave. But since you didn't break, fold, nor bend, now they want to be your friend. Now they want to be your acquaintance. Now they want to build a good relationship with you. But like the word says, visions is God's. You don't have to get revenge because a bad fruit is going to fall all on its own. All you got to do is keep being who you are. Walking your path, doing the things God called you to do. And everything will continue to ride smoothly and go as planned in your life. Now, you went through some stuff now, right? Let's not, let's, let's, let's address this. You went through some pain. You went through some hurt. That's the spoils of war. That's going to happen. That's going to happen. That's going to, you, 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 you bumped your head. You got some scars. Your little heart was broke. All that shit is okay. It's cool. But you're stronger now. War has made you a stronger man. It has made you a stronger woman. It made you a more faith-built individual. You're more willing to take chance. You're more willing to jump off the deep end now because your faith has grown so much because you just came out of this season of trials and tests and, and, and attacks from the enemy. And the enemy we fight is not flesh and blood. But evil spirits and principalities of this dark realm. You still here. I'm still here. I'm still making these messages. Because it's still some life. It's still some relevance in all of this. Because what you went through wasn't for shits and giggles. It was for a reason. It was for a purpose to prepare you for this next level. Of these new devils. It wasn't in vain. It was a test to see how strong you were. You know your capabilities. You know your strength now. But they thought they was going to run down on you. They thought they was going to break you. They thought taking you down into the pits of hell was going to leave you shattered. It was going to leave you broken. In all actuality, it left them there. They down there in the pits of hell. That spirit is in the pits of hell now. They spirit is in the pits of hell suffering. And you left them where they stand. And where they thought they was going to leave you, they're now taking residency up in that motherfucker. Believe in your worth. Believe in your value. Believe in your God. Believe in his power. Because that is what kept you. That is what brought you through. See, they always going to try to test you. When. Oh, shit. I don't know what happened. But they always going to test you when your faith is in God and not in man. See, when you when you rely on man and everybody else and their mama, they don't they don't bother you. But when you don't need a motherfucker and you let them know that off rip, they going to test you. They going to try to play with you. To prove you wrong. Motherfucker, I'm still big stepping. Let's get it. G-Wells with him.